there's no logic in solving this particular one. You just need to understand what we mean by perfect square. If I have 2 times 2, and this gives me 4, 4 is a perfect square. 3 times 3, if this gives me 9, 9 is a perfect square. 5 times 5, if this gives me 25, 25 is a perfect square. 11 times 11, if this gives me 121, this is a perfect square. 13 times 13, if this gives me 169, this is a perfect square. I hope you understand the concept of perfect square now. All right, if you know this, then you should be able to solve this problem. Because if you check the square root of 18 on your calculator, it gives you the decimal number. This one, same thing. So we don't want that. We need to represent our answer in a sodic form. All right. Now, in a radical form, as the case may be, we have the square root of 18. You just think of two numbers that can multiply to give you 18. It could be the factors of 18, which you know 6 and 3. But obviously, 6 and 3, none of them are perfect square. If you think of 9, 9 times 2 gives us 18. 9 is a perfect square. 3 times 3 gives us 9. I hope you catch up with this explanation. Also, here we're having 25 by 2 to give you 50. We understand that 10 times 5 also will give you 50. But either of them, not perfect square. So, what do we need to do? We share this. The square root of 9 times the square root of 2, according to the rules of uh, salt, square root of 25 times square root of 2. Now, what that means is that if you check the square root of 9, that will give you 3. And 3 multiplied by square root of 2 will be 3 root 2. Plus square root of 25 will be 5. And if that multiplied by square root of 2, that will be 5 root 2. Now, you can be able to add these two together because the contents in the root are the same. But if they are different, you can add them. So now 3 plus 5 gives you 8. And the square root of 2, they are common. So pick one of them. This is the solution to this problem. I hope you found this video helpful. Please make sure to like this video, share it, and follow me for more. Peace and love.